Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jean. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch today's video. If you are new here and you love handbags and other luxury items as much as I do, you will love it here. So please join my growing community, subscribe to my channel, tap that notification bell to be notified when I upload new content. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. As the title says, today I'm going to be reviewing the Guibert Allure Bag. I'm a little bit behind. It's like December 18th or 19th. My Christmas tree isn't even up yet. I'm putting it up later. It's going right there, uh, right in front of the queen. So I've got a big empty hole there, but uh, that will be filled shortly. Anyway, a few of you have been asking me in the comments of my unboxing of this, or rather saying you can't wait till I review this bag. So here we are, I've used it enough to review it. Now it's been a while since I bought it. I used to, when I got new bags, just use them for two, three weeks, many times uh, to do a review of them, but now I switch bags a lot. So it's gonna take a while every time I get a new bag uh, to really use it enough to review it because I think you really gotta use it multiple times um, to see if your initial impressions hold or change or are gone based on um, how much you use a bag. So I've got some information here. So if I'm looking away, I'm reading my notes. Um, but this is Guibert. It's a French brand. This bag is 395 euros. So it's a little over 400 US dollars. It is in this beautiful peacock blue color. You can see this gorgeous clasp. This was created by Robert Goosens. Yeah, G-O-O-S-S-E-N-S. -S -S. He is a famous jewelry designer who has worked with all the top luxury bags, so he designed the clasp here. Uh, this leather, it, leather is Cherillion leather. It's the same uh, tannery as Hermes, so you're getting a super, super high quality product for such an affordable price and they're a saddlery so i don't know when they started making bags but you know perhaps these will massively increase in price if the brand gets more popular i don't know because this is definitely what i would consider luxury quality craftsmanships materials beauty it, it has it all this is a great bag um so i absolutely love the design of this, the smell of the leather, the feel of it, the look of it. It's just a gorgeous bag. I'm not sold on it being a bag for me yet because I think it might be a little too feminine for me, um, but I'm not quite ready to make that decision yet. But that has nothing to do with the quality craftsmanship and build of this bag. Now, dimension wise, it is 9.5 four or five inches in length. It is 6.8 inches in height and the depth on the bottom here is 2.7 inches. So it's perfect everyday size. And these bags do come in several different colors. And when I ordered it, it took maybe a month or six weeks for them to get it to me. So it was made, I mean, it wasn't made for me, but um, it was not an item they had in stock when I ordered it, so I did have to wait for it. And I actually got another Guibert bag after unboxing this, and I've been using that as well. So that may be my next video reviewing that bag. We'll have to see. Um, but I think this is a really gorgeous uh, bag. So it is bull leather made in France, but the bag itself is made in Spain. So... I just think this is a beautiful, stunning bag. The stitching is gorgeous. The clasp is gorgeous. It's got a nice back pocket here where that's actually where I stick my phone. So I'm filming on my phone, um, but I just stuck my phone case inside. But when I carry it, I fit the phone uh, right in this back pocket, which I love because I would say for probably anybody, your phone is the thing that's coming in and out of your bag the most especially if you were traveling, you know, you're taking pictures and stuff, looking up and up where something is. So this gives you really quick and easy access. I'm not worried about this pocket stretching out. This is an I, 
iPhone, iPhone 14 Pro. So the Max is bigger, of course, but I don't think you're gonna have any issues uh, fitting that in there. Now it does come with a non-detachable shoulder strap with uh, several different settings there. I have it on the highest. So it does have, what, two, four, six, seven adjustments. And I'm just gonna try to scooch back here and you're gonna all see how I work maybe. Um, nope, you can't see my shorts, but dress shirt on top, shorts on the bottom. So I'm six foot tall and you can just see here, it, it comes down to a really, really nice length on me. I certainly couldn't crossbody it, um, but I really don't crossbody bags anyway. So I have no issues with the length of this shoulder strap. This clasp is beautiful and it is really thick and really sturdy. And you can tell it is really, really well made. Um, so they call it a jewel clasp. Maybe some of you know why it's called a jewel clasp. To me, it's just a clasp and it's got a pretty strong magnet, but it is kind of finicky because the, le the leather is so soft. So I do have issues sometimes when I'm using it and closing it. See, I'm having issues right now, but it's not quite this severe as uh, when it's on my shoulder because I'm kind of at a weird angle here. But this doesn't always just grab and latch. You can see it, well, there, well, no, it popped out, but you can see how it goes on here. So there's a little like lip here, right here, that goes over the bottom of this magnet. So that would be my one gripe with this bag is it is hard to get the magnet to connect in the right place when you're on the go. And you kind of just have to, like listen for it. Like you can hear it. I'll see if I can do it. See, hear that? So you can kind of hear it. Not the biggest issue, but you gotta be careful that your stuff doesn't fall out. But the leather smells great and it is just really soft. I mean, I expected this to be a more structured and firm bag and it is really soft, which I actually think is quite beautiful. Now on the inside, you can see my stuff in there pretty well laid out. The first thing is I have sunglasses here and then I have reading glasses and I just put them in these little pouches I got on Amazon. When they're in smaller bags like this, I have to bring them both everywhere I go, especially in daytime because here in the desert, it is almost always sunny and you always need sunglasses. You can also see right here, I have my business card holder here and my six key ring holder. So those just go together on the sides there. Then I have my little key pouch here where in smaller bags, I just put a couple lip balms in them uh, just because I worry about lip balms falling out. And if they did, I would be in a crisis because I need this stuff immediately when I think I need it and I would have to immediately go buy some if it fell out of my bag. So I like using the key clay for that in smaller bags because I think it's much more noticeable if that falls out than a little lip balm falls out. I also have my key fob for my car and the gate for my community fob that opens the gate. And then I have a little hand cream. So that's all I need anytime I go out. So this bag definitely holds everything I need. There was probably a tiny bit more room in there. Like you could get, you know, a few more lipsticks in there. You could probably get a couple more items if you put them on top of, uh, of the other stuff. But the sunglasses and reading glasses, you know, take up almost half of the bag because for me, I really need to stand them up because if they're laid down, then I have stuff on top of them, which I do not like. On the inside, it's very simple. There is a slip pocket there. You can see Guy Bear Paris um, on that tag there. And then there is a slip pocket, but it is just a big open compartment. So again, the shoulder strap does not detach. I just don't understand that. I don't understand why every single bag 
uh, doesn't come with a detachable shoulder strap because when I store it, I have to kind of bunch it all up in there rather than rolling it up nicely and tucking it in there. Um, but again, that's just a small complaint and see when it's empty, it's it's quite hard to get that latch to latch. So I will give you just a, a kind of 380 now that it's emptied out. The front, there's sides, the back, the bottom, and the top. So if, if you're in the market for a luxury bag and you don't wanna break the bank, you're getting so much value for your money here at $400. I mean, really, this to me, I've had Coach and Senrev and Aspinall of London and other contemporary brands. To me, this is superior to all of them by quite a stretch in terms of how, and I'm not a leather expert by any means, but this just feels so much more luxurious to me. Like this feels like it could be a very expensive bag and you can see the glazing on there. It's all well done, um, just beautiful. The stitching everywhere is great. Uh, this is just a gorgeous bag. And it's so funny because as I've been using it, I'm like, eh, eh, not sure, not sure, not sure. Uh, only for the simple fact that I think it maybe is more feminine than I want. Like functionality, it's great. Style, design, quality, craftsmanship, all that stuff. Great, 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 great. Um, but I was like, hmm. It might be a little feminine for me, but now that I'm filming this, I'm like, oh my God, look how beautiful it is. I mean, it is just a stunningly gorgeous bag. You can get a close up there of the leather. It's really quite beautiful. So I am absolutely so grateful to Alice in Paris for her featuring this bag a couple times on her channel um, because it's opened up a new brand for me and I am looking for more quiet, luxury bags that don't break the bank. And I'm quite frankly, I'm bored with Louis Vuitton and Gucci and Dior to an extent. I just feel like it's the same old, same old and they, they have to reissue everything and nothing new is exciting. I want a, an Abin Speedy 25. I want a keep all. There's a small pouch bag I like from Dior. But all in all, I just haven't been that excited. Uh, so it is really exciting for me to find these other luxury brands that are, are so unique. No one has this. No one, when I'm out, is going to recognize what brand this is or have this bag. So if you're, if you're really looking for exclusivity, which I'm not, um, I don't really give a crap about that stuff. I would freaking love it if these prices were way lower, lower and everybody I saw had my Louis Vuitton Speedy or whatever bag I'm carrying. But if you're really like, I want something exclusive, like if you're not buying Hermes, this is where you're gonna get exclusivity by buying brands like this that most people don't know about. Um, because like I said, I don't know if I would see this bag anywhere on the West Coast. I, of course, I can't say I'm the only one on the West Coast that has it of the United States. But it's really, really a not well-known brand. So it's exclusive in that sense. It's not exclusive in the sense of its price point or it's easy to get it. But you're really going to have something special and unique that just not anybody's really going to have. Um, so I'll link the website down below. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions about this bag. I will certainly be happy to answer them. And this is probably gonna be my last video of 2023. So I wish you all a wonderful, happy new year. Bye-bye.